So my area of research is to look at what is the relationship between movement and pain. And in particular, I'm really interested in patients who have musculoskeletal pain, particularly at the Achilles tendon. I've been um, using a combination of techniques to look at factors that would impact pain from both localized peripheral pain mechanisms that would be localized to the tendon, as well as um, more global factors that would include how does the central nervous system process pain and the psychosocial context um, in which patients interpret their experience. The high rise I'm using to get a way to really capture those localized peripheral factors that could be contributing to a patient's Achilles tendon pain. I have a 3D motion analysis system and from that I'm able to quantify the amount of load or estimate the amount of load that's occurring on the tendon based on um, the activities that they're doing, um, their movement pattern. What's nice about the high rise is it gives me an ability to capture what are factors that are internal to the foot and ankle and how does how is that affecting the load the mechanical load that's on the tendon and so i can look at kind of the course what's the correspondence between the foot posture measures that i'm getting um, in the high rise versus what are the foot posture measures that i'm getting with more dynamic movements in the motion capture system right now we are doing a pilot study to compare um, what is the effect of using a heel lift versus having an invasive procedure. And as a physical therapist, when patients come to me and they have Achilles tendon pain at the insertion, um, I often recommend that they try putting a small lift into their shoe. And that as often helps relieve their pain. What we can do with the high rise is to see, is to quantify kind of how does putting a, a lift in someone's shoe in a weight bearing position, how does that alter the, the mechanical load that you're getting on the tendon? Before we had the high rise, I never even considered trying to get this type of measurement. But having the high rise here and available for research has opened the doors to looking at other ways of, of getting these measurements and having it in a weight bearing position um, to be able to see kind of like a real world application of, of what are these interventions that we're doing in the clinic. Having the high rise here at the University of Iowa, available to use for both research and clinical purposes, really gives the ability to figure out how can this drive a research program overall to improve care for patients who have Achilles tendon pain and inform both non-operative and invasive and operative procedures.